dear students, welcome back to another video lesson. So, for this video lesson, so ang pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano hanapin yung value ng n or r using the formula of permutation. So, commonly po kasi, ang hinahanap po natin is yung permutation mismo. So, kung ilan yung bilang ng permutation. So, in how many ways can n objects be arranged if they are taken or at a time. So, dito naman po ang pag-uusapan natin, what if ang nawawalang value natin is n or r? So, how are we going to solve for the value of n and r? So, yun po yung aking i-discuss. So, let's start. So, for the lesson objective, we will find the value of n or r using the formula of permutation. So, again, hindi po pwedeng dalawa ang unknown variables. So, hindi pwedeng mawala yung n tsaka r pareho. So, kailangan isa lang po dyan. It's because imposible po nating masolve po yung problem ng permutation kung pareho po silang nawawala. So, let us have again permutation. So, kapag sinabi natin permutation, of course, ang pinaka-pinopoint out po niya dito is yung arrangement ng mga objects. So, in short, order matters. So, to find the permutation of n objects taken r at a time, we use the formula uh, n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial where in n is greater than or equal to r. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng n tsaka r dyan? So, n is the total number of objects, yung kabuang bilang ng mga bagay na ina-arrange. And then, R is the number of objects taken at a time. So, kung meron tayong total number of ob objects, so, from those total number of objects, so, kumukuha lang tayo ng iilan. So, yun yung tinatawag natin taken R at a time. Okay. So, maaring kunin natin lahat yun. Maaring isa lang, dalawa, depende po. Okay. So, why is it N is greater than or equal to R? Okay. So, syempre, kailangan mas malaki ang bilang ng total dun sa kinukuha. Like for example, kung ang total number ng students is 5 and then ang R mo is 10, so impossible na makakuha ka ng 10 dun sa 5 lang. Okay, so dapat mas mataas yung value ng N kesa sa R. So what if the unknown is P. So, ang hinahanap po natin dito is yung permutation. So, kapag permutation po ang hinahanap natin, madali lang po naman as long as given po yung ating N tsaka R. So, like for example, 13 taken 4. So, how many permutations that can be made? So, for example, kung 13 letters yan and then taken 4 at a time. So, how many uh, permutations that can be made? So, We will identify the value of n. So, n is equal to 13. And then, r is equal to 4. Now, applying the formula for permutation, so n, p, r, so n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial. And then, we will substitute the value of n and r to the given formula. So, magiging ganito siya nun. 13 taken 4 is equal to 13 factorial all over the quantity of 13 minus 4 factorial. And then, 13 factorial all over the difference of 13 and 4 is 9. So, 9 factorial. And then, express natin yung factors ng 13 factorial up to 9 factorial. So, para makancel po yun yung nasa denominator. So, magiging 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial all over 9 factorial. And then, we will cancel out 9 factorial And then, multiplying the remaining factors, so 13, 12, 11, and 10, will give us a product of 17,160. So, ibig sabihin, meron po tayong 17,160 permutations. 
So, for the second uh, problem, what if n is unknown? Okay, so, yung total number of objects. So, given po dito yung uh, permutation and then yung r. Okay, so, kung ilan yung tinitake kada time. So, ang nawawala nga po dito is yung n. So, lista natin. So, npr is equal to 210. And then, r is equal to 3. So, yung formula natin uh, dito is ganito siya. So, i-consider natin yung r. So, dito po, since yung r natin is equal to 3, ibig sabihin, meron po tayong tatlong factors. Okay. So, kung, kung ilan po yung R natin doon, yun po yung bilang ng factors na kung saan lilitaw po yung 210 na sagot. So, paano natin siya express So, simple lang po, ganito siya. So, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. So, yung mga factors, uh, yung tatlong factors na yon consecutive yun. Ibig sabihin, magkakasunod. So, mag-iisip tayo ngayon ng factors tatlong consecutive numbers na kung saan kapag pinagmultiply natin yon lilitaw po yung product na 210. Okay, so, una muna, ayan, sinulat natin, n times the quantity of n minus 1 times n minus 2 is equal to 210. Now, lista natin yung mga factors ng 210. So, factors of 210. So, syempre, ang pinakauna, 1, and then 2. What else? 3, uh, 4, hindi siya. So, 5, 6, 7, uh, 10. Uh, pwede rin naman yung uh, 14. And then 15, 21, 30, 35. 42, 70, 140, and 210. So, the number itself. Now, based from the given factors na yan, makikita natin na yung mga consecutive factors na meron tayo dyan are 1, 2, 3. Kaya lang, kapag pinultiply natin yung 1, 2, and 3, ang bibigay niya lang pong product is 6. So, kukunin natin yung kasunod niyang mga factors, which, which are 5, 6, 7. So, 5, 6, 7. So, 5 times 6 is 30 times 7 is 210. Now, paano natin yun isusulat dun sa solution? So, magiging ganito po siya. So, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 is equal to 5 times 6 times 7. Now, Etong n po na ito, equate po natin siya sa 7. So, n is equal to 7. And then, pwede rin naman pong n minus 1, equate po natin sa 6. So, ganito siya. n minus 1 is equal to 6. And then, we will add 1 to both sides. So, n minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 6 plus 1. So, therefore, n is equal to 7. So, as you can see, nakakuha na po tayo ng dalawang 7 na value. So, kailangan isa lang po yung n na makuha po natin dyan. So, iisang number. So, n minus 2 naman tayo equals 5. So, we will add 2 to both sides. So, n is equal to 7. So, nakuha rin po natin yung n is equal to 7. So, ibig sabihin, Yung value ng n po natin dito is 7. Sulat natin. Answer. So, ayan. 7 taken 3 is equal to 210. What about if r is unknown? So, ayan. So, given po yung n, yung total number of objects, and then, yung ating total number of permutations. So, ang hinahanap po natin dito kung ilang objects ang tinitake kada time. So, yun po ang ating isosolve. Take note, kailangan po ang value ng R po natin dito is equal or 
less than dun sa value ng n. So, hindi po sa pwedeng humigit dun sa value ng n. Like, for example, kung ang value ng r natin is 10, yung n in natin is 9. So, therefore, mali na po agad yung ating sagot. So, ayan. Let's identify uh, NPR is equal to 3,024. And then, yung ating N is 9. So, listan natin yung formula. Okay. And then, we will substitute the given values. So, for permutation NPR 3,024 equals 9 factorial all over the quantity of 9 minus r factorial. And then, itong 3,024, ang uh, denominator po niya is 1. And then, ang gagawin natin next is cross multiplication. So, magiging 3,024 times the quantity of 9 minus r factorial is equal to 9 factorial. And then, kailangan natin tanggalin yung 3,024 dito. So, ibig sabihin, i-divide natin both sides by 3,024. So, magiging ganito siya. The quantity of 9 minus R factorial, it's because makakancel po yung 3,024. Now, Yung 9 factorial, express natin siya. So, 9 factorial is equal to 362,880. Sir, paano po nakuha ang 9 factorial? So, 9 factorial is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 up to 1. Ayan. And then, all over 3,024. Next, the quantity of 9 minus r factorial is equal to the quotient of 362,880 and 3,024 is 120. Now, yung next na gagawin natin dito is i-express natin yung 120 in factorial form. Okay, so kung matatandaan po natin, ang 120, pwede po siya express as 5 factorial. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, which is 120. So, express lang po natin as 9, the quantity of 9 minus R factorial is equal to 5 factorial. And then, i-cancel out po natin yung factorial. So, divide natin. So, mawawala na po yung factorial. Magiging 9 minus R is equal to 5. Next, uh, pagpalitin natin ng pwesto yung negative r at 5. So, kapag pinagpalit po natin yon, so mag-iiba po ang kanilang mga signs. So, magiging 9 minus 5 is equal to r. So, yung 5, nilipat natin, nagiging negat magiging negative. Negative r magiging positive. Now, r is equal to 9 minus 5. So, r is equal to 4. So, yung value for r natin dito is 4. So, kung i-check nyo, 9 taken 4, our answer will be 3,024. So, ayan po ang ating discussion kung paano kunin ang value ng n or r kung nawawala sila. So, for the next video lesson, we will solve problems involving distinguishable permutations. So, yung mga types of permutations na na-discuss ko na po sa inyo, so, iisa-isahin po natin yan kagaya po ng uh, kung paano ko sila in-illustrate. Okay, so, mas makikilala nyo po yung distinguishable, linear, and circular permutations dahil isa-isa po silang mga video lesson. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat.